As someone who always spends a lot of time trying to get their launcher, their home screen looking exactly the way they want, I am actually a really big fan of these new AI wallpaper generators. We now have them built in on Samsung devices like my Z Fold 6, but also on Pixel devices. My biggest problem with it though, is that neither one of these OEMs give you a quick, easy way to take that brand new beautiful wallpaper you just generated and export it and give it to another device, whether it's another phone, another tablet, or heck, maybe you wanna put it on your desktop of your personal computer in this video. I'm gonna show you an easy, simple way to do exactly that. So I'm sure that there are other ways to do this. I'm sure there's probably an app in the app store, but I couldn't find anything that would specifically do this. But after some Googling, I found an application that isn't in the Play Store. And, you know, I know some of you will immediately say, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about installing apps from an unknown source. But so far, so good. It seems like it's fine. It's not asking for any weird permissions or anything like that. So I think we should be okay. The link to this is in the description down below. We're going to jump over to my Z Fold 6 where I have loaded up this web page. We're going to click on the APK. It's going to go ahead and download for you. At that point, you're going to click on open. And what's going to happen is it's going to tell you that Chrome doesn't have the ability to install apps from unknown sources. Simply click on settings and then allow permissions. You can also see right there to keep your phone and data safe, turn on auto blocker to prevent the installation of unknown apps, settings, security and privacy, and then auto blocker. What it's basically saying is there is a setting if you're on a Z Fold 6 that you may also need to play with. Mine's already turned off. If yours is turned on, it might block this. I've gone ahead and installed this, but what we're going to do is we're going to jump into that settings. I'm going to show you that really quickly too. Let's scroll down to security and privacy, and you see auto blocker right there in the middle. You might want to turn that off, or you might have to turn that off to do this installation as well. But now the application is fully installed. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into our wallpaper and style. We're going to go to change wallpaper and we're going to make ourselves a new generative wallpaper. As you can see, I do have several that I've already made that I really like, but we're going to make a new one just to show that process too. This is a real lighthouse made of amethyst in shades of pink and purple. We're going to generate this wallpaper and we have several different options to choose between and we're going to go with the first one. So we're going to go ahead and click on set. Keep in mind, it actually has to be set as your current wallpaper. I think that's kind of the biggest downside right now. So let's go ahead and set it. Click on done. That is our new current wallpaper. Now we're going to go to wallpaper extractor. So the only permission that it needs is for storage. So we're going to click on OK. Allow all. We're going to click on OK and then allow permission because it does need access to your files. And there you can see my current wallpaper is on the left hand side. You can either do share or save. If you want to do save, it's going to ask you where to put it. So I'm going to put it in the downloads folder. And at that point, it should be in Google Photos. There it is. It is now uploaded, backed up to Google Photos. And on any other device you want, it's going to be available there to you. But you could just as easily click on share and then just send it directly to whatever device you want to send it to. Using quick share, my OnePlus Open has popped up and I have sent it to my other device. And now that wallpaper can be easily set as the wallpaper for my other device. It's also worth noting that you can absolutely sideload the generative AI wallpaper APK onto some other Pixel devices that may not actually normally have access to this, like the Pixel Fold. If you want instructions on that, that video will be in the description down below. So there you go, guys, a quick solution to a problem that has irritated me for a little while. Hopefully it helps some of you as well. And if you have any concerns about that application, once you're done getting your wallpaper, simple enough to just uninstall it and move on after that. But I do think that it's probably just fine given the permissions that it is asking for. But again, if you have those concerns, just uninstall it whenever you're done grabbing your wallpaper. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.